Welcome guys to Pure Property Investment One-on-One. Today we're joined by Munzeril Khan. Munzeril is the principal of Keshub Chartered Accountants and he's joining us today to um, to talk about something that's uh, a little bit left of field, which uh, I'll, I'll, I'll position it this way. What is the difference between a so-called traditional accountant and probably a lot of the time I hear now in the media uh, or potentially people talking about using a modern accountant. Now I don't mean it's the cut of your suit or it's the haircut that you choose or the car that you drive or where you live and what you eat. Um, It's probably really more so. How do you differentiate a traditional accountant versus a modern accountant in this day and age? It's a very, 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 very interesting question. Very interesting question because the, the traditional accountant or the fundamental of an accountant is the scorekeeper, right? So we have always been the scorekeeper. We used to keep the score and, and there are some accountants who keep the score very, very well. We do the accounts, we do the management accounts, we do the basis, we do all those sort of compliance activities that is given and that is all accountants do and that is what we are supposed to do. That's a traditional accountant. A modern accountant, I suppose, in my view, to some extent, is an accountant who is a scorekeeper, but at the same time, accountant is a more of a coach as well. So more of a coach with the game that you sort of get involved with the proprietors. You understand what their goals and objectives are. You understand the cash flow of that particular business. You understand the business plan. You understand the exit plan. You understand the long-term strategies as such. And how do you structure the business? How do you build that business in a way where the score is what he would like to see? So on the same sort of a token, I suppose, when it comes to the investment property, exactly the same thing. A modern accountant sits down with the uh, property investors. What are your goals? What are your objectives? Not a financial planner, but quite distinctly is what are your goals, what are your objectives, and what are you planning to do? And how does one structure oneself into reaching into that goals and objectives in the modern period of time? That, in my view, to some extent, is a modern accountant. You still need to keep the score, but you sort of build the score with the client. Absolutely brilliant analogy, mate. And it's funny, the moment you said a scorekeeper, all of a sudden my mind went to a basketball team. I don't know why, I'm not a basketballer, but it is something that I think of is the difference between a basketball game happening and you've got literally the panel of people either keeping score, keeping score of the fouls, etc. And then you've got the coach plus the statistician that's right. sitting next to the coach. That's and you've right. got the people who are saying, I know the stats. I understand yes. who's scoring, where the fouls are, how long's left in the game. That's However, right. you've got the coach who's saying, now we need to do this to better our outcome. And that for me differentiates if you're going to see two people sitting in two different places. Sure. You want someone who's proactively going to be asking questions. It's fundamental that people should be asking questions of you saying, sure, I can give you all your numbers and talk about where you're at and do your returns, etc. But yeah. I also want to understand where do you want to get to? What can we potentially do differently? How can we yeah. pivot to change the outcome to make sure we maximise where you yeah. can get to? And those yeah. questions are absolutely vital. I think that sounds like that's where the differentiation is between someone who just says, give me your information, I'll give it back to you in a nice concise, mm-hmm. concise format and tell you what you're going to get as a return or what it's going to cost you this year, mm-hmm. as opposed to let's talk about how we can maximise what you can do next exactly. year and the years thereafter. Exactly. Mate, great to uh, hear from you again. I really appreciate your insights as always. Uh, if you'd like to get in contact with Munzerl or anyone from his team, his details will be at the bottom of the screen. Uh, and likewise for myself at Pure Property Investment and our team, you can contact us uh, as per the details below and uh, we'll catch up soon. Cheers.